Hi, everyone. Uh, we're going to talk. I'm from HOT. Uh, my name is DK Benjamin. Um, my colleague Yogesh couldn't make it, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to talk about organizing infrastructure to build our HOT tech. Um, we're a big, comp uh, a big nonprofit, at least our tech team. We've grown a lot. Um, so we here in the core team at the bottom left, that's our team. Uh, we also have a lot of projects. Uh, today, we're going to focus on just one project, uh, the Galaxy API. Um, as a part of our out module, which has been uh, in another uh, talk uh, earlier in this conference. Um, and we're going to talk about how, that's, how we're, we're building uh, the infrastructure. Um, so what's that look like, sort of very broadly? Um, we use cloud hosting. Uh, we're a cloud native uh, tech team. Uh, we also uh, have, we're not beholden to AWS, but we use AWS. And so in order to do that, to be sort of interoperable or to have that sort of flexibility, we use Terraform, uh, which is an open source infrastructure as code tool. Um, and because I work with my colleague uh, across the world, uh, we need to collaborate sometimes, uh, most of the time. And uh, so we use a, a cloud state storage for managing uh, our infrastructure state. Uh, and we use Terraform Dido, which is uh, HashiCorp. Uh, the infrastructure, just like our team, has to be very organized in order for our team to be able to function and for the app to be able to function. So in order to even get the app on, online, uh, we really have to start from uh, a very uh, base level. Uh, so we have to build that pyramid. So we're going to start at the bottom with our state and provider config. Um, and there will be some examples as well with a little bit of code, but not all of it. Um, what's a state and provider config? We're talking about like resource providers. Um, so how, how we're actually defining what are the components that are going on AWS. Uh, we also use other modules like random. Um, we have the state store configuration so we can connect to the remote, uh, to the back end, uh, configuration variables, and version constraints. And so for example, as you can see here, we have our AWS provider. Um, we also have the random, uh, which we'll get into a bit later. Um, and then those are defined. Um, and this is all defined in, in code in Terraform. Um, and it is all treated sort of similarly like plugins. Uh, and then the back end, of course, talking about the Terraform, uh, talking about HashiCorp's cloud back end, uh, Terraform.io, um, is also defined in here as well as the version. So now we've got that sort of base. Uh, that's a very good base. Uh, and we sort of have to build up from there. We have to have a network. We have to have this online. Um, so um, because we are creating a, a software as a service at, with um, Galaxy API and with Galaxy product, uh, we need to make sure that it's all secure. Um, on the network. So, of course, we're defining VPCs, we're defining subnets, um, routing, gateways, firewalls. Um, we have to communicate with other tools within our net with the AWS network and also externally. So we need VPC firewalls and VPC to VPC connections. Uh, so, for example, here is defined, we have a, a data source, so something that's coming from, uh, from AWS directly, a piece of data, the availability zones for the network. Um, and then we are defining that. Uh, or, or referencing that rather in the in the subnet, uh, in as like attributes. Um, that just as an example, there's a lot of other code there, and we'll link at the end. But um, uh, we also now have to sort of building all the supporting services. Um, un, uh, Galaxy replies on our underpass uh, server, the file processing server for under for uh, all of the all of the outputs basically that uh, Galaxy relies on. Of course, we have to define the AWS images, the AMIs. Uh, monitoring tools like Sentry uh, or New Relic, certificates, DNS records. Uh, one thing I'll focus on today is uh, secrets management, because we're talking about security. Um, also jump, jump hosts and the user access. So all of this stuff has to be defined. Um, in this example, um, we save our secret things using AWS Secrets Manager. Um, and uh, it's then referenced in later on in the actual application in the ECS task definition, which I'll explain. Um, Finally, we can actually build the app. Uh, it's very simple. It's Postgres, it's Docker Container Service, it's load balancers. Um, here, uh, again, I'll skip over this, but we're doing password management. Um, we never see a password. It's all internally defined. Um, that's very secure. And then it's all run in production uh, through, uh, through a CI management. Um, so when it tracks a change in the GitHub directory, uh, it runs the plan, and then we actually have to manually apply it. So, sorry about the, the rushing, but um, all the resources here, the slides are available um, for reference. Um, you can find all the information in these links. Thank you.